Hello, you beautiful humans. I am here today to share with you how I meditate. It's about seven simple steps and I'll take you through each one. So first, usually before I go into meditation, I will either stretch, do like a little bit of yoga, like 15 minutes, or journal, or sometimes both. And the goal is I usually do my meditation in the morning and those things just kind of help take me into meditation a little bit easier. Like for example, sometimes my mind is just like so loud. And so I will journal to get everything that's in my mind out onto the page, get my to do's or my day sorted and everything's there so that it's not distracting me or disturbing me in meditation. Um, also, I really love to do 10, 15 minutes of yoga stretching before I meditate. It helps me to stay in meditation longer. And again, it's just another way to keep um, things from distracting me. So if I stretch, then I'm not gonna like feel any tightness in my body. And also it just feels amazing to stretch in the morning. Um, I'll do another video of like my day, my morning routine and I'll show you the stretches that I do. Uh, and the yoga positions uh, if you're interested. But if you are, let me know in the comments and that's something I can get to you faster. But right now, focusing on how I meditate, which maybe will give you some insight, maybe not, let me know what you think. But, so my prerequisites would be either journaling or stretching. Doesn't have to take long, can be super quick, or just go straight into meditation. Again, those are just things that I try to do to help to clear my mind so that I'm less distracted in meditation. And then moving into my next step, my next step would be to cleanse my energy, cleanse myself. Again, I wanna remove distractions and I believe and feel that throughout your day, your life, things are energetically according to you and attaching to you and like you're also taking responsibility for them and carrying them with you. At least that's how I feel in my life. So usually it's, it's people. So usually I'll like sit down and I will use my hands to actually like remove, okay, what, where do I feel something? I feel a heaviness here, let me remove that. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna send it back with love and gratitude. I'm gonna give it to the earth to recycle. Oh, I feel my boyfriend on me. Of course I feel my boyfriend on me. We spend every day together. Of course we're gonna be energetically attached, but I wanna remove his energy and I wanna send it back to him with love and gratitude. We'll re-energetically cord next time we see each other. I think of him. It's cool, I need to cleanse myself so that I can go into my meditation deeply. Um, and so again, I just take anybody off of me that feels like they're attached to me. If I feel any weight or anything that I just feel in my energy, which is just simply closing my eyes and focusing. What do I feel around me? Is something feel tight around my neck? Take it off, send it away with love and gratitude. And I have a whole video of how to cleanse your energy that you can watch that to where I go in deeper of like this practice. But I usually do a quick moment. I cleanse everything off of myself, detach any cords, send anybody back with love and gratitude so that I am now again, one step closer to a deep meditation. Um, again, letting go of any distractions. And so my next step then would be to try to quiet my mind. And you can do that in a lot of different ways depending on how much you practice this, how quiet you feel like your mind is, how much you meditate. Um, so when I was first getting started and I was really struggling to quiet my mind, I would literally listen to the sound of my breath and like with my breath, I would think in, out, in, out. Or you can say hum, saw, hum, saw, which is literally just the Sanskrit way of saying inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Um, and that would kind of help to get my mind to stop running around and to like focus on what I was doing. Again, if you feel like you're really struggling with your mind, A, that's totally normal. Like meditation is, I joke, the hardest part of my day, but also the most rewarding part of my day because it's hard to sit down and quiet your mind. So don't beat yourself up. Don't think you're failing. Don't quit. Um, if you're having a hard time meditating or quieting your mind, it's practice and trust me, the practice pays off and sitting down for five, 10, 15, 20, 30, whatever amount of time you sit down for to try to meditate 
And if your mind just chatters the whole time, that was not a failure. You still meditated. You still took time to sit and try to ground and quiet yourself. So don't think that like, oh, I can't do it. Bye. Or, oh, I failed. Or everybody goes through that phase that, and it's sometimes a long phase. Um, but that's another thing that the journaling can help you to clear those things out of your mind. And sometimes the stretching too, because it just gives you a little bit of space to let your mind wander. I start to breathe and feel into my muscles as they release. And then again, that starts to ground me in the cleansing. I do that first. Cause that's like me thinking like, Hmm, me feeling what's on me. Who's attached to me. Let me let that go. So steps to try to quiet my mind and, um, yeah, get into it. So you're not failing. You're doing amazing. Um, stick with it. But um, if, it, if it calls to you, of course. But so, yes, I try to quiet my mind in any way I can. If I feel like there's a lot of incessant thoughts that are coming through, I'll imagine a river like going through my mind and just like not shaming myself for a thought that comes up, but just like, oh, there's a thought. I'm recognizing a thought's coming up. I'm going to let it flow down the river. And I'll keep doing that or I'll continue to practice inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale until I start to feel my nervous system relax. We come into a place of peace. I'm starting to connect to my inner wisdom, my inner universe and divinity. And, and I'll get into that. I'll continue along the steps and we'll get to the end, which is like kind of the thing that you're focusing on to try to slip into meditation. But so... Once you quiet your mind or don't, but just do as much as you feel like you can or take just 30 seconds. It doesn't have to be like, if you're not able to quiet your mind, it doesn't mean you, can continue, you, don't, you can't continue. Just follow your intuition with your meditation. What feels good to you? What's rewarding? What's nourishing? And um, move, through, move through it that way. You can take any of these steps that I have you can disregard them. This is just me explaining how I do it in my experience and what's best for me. So um, after that, then my next phase is to ground myself. And you can do that in a number of ways. I sometimes do it different ways depending on the day, depending on how I feel. And so one way that I'll do it is I'll literally like try to feel into the earth like energetically, like feel the earth around me. Like normally there's trees and mountains around me or earth underneath me or energy, ether, air around me, sun, sky, clouds, you know, feel into the earth and like pull myself into this moment, into this place and just connecting with the earth, grounding my energy into the ground, into the earth. That can be a really successful way to ground. My favorite way to ground is I intuitively feel like we have our physical body and then we almost have like um, like our divinity and our access to our God is like inside of me. And then I almost feel like I have this like really high enlightened like part of my soul that almost like floats above me and like have you ever felt ungrounded or just felt like dizzy or like I can't think straight or I literally feel like I'm in another place? To me, how I feel is that literally like my energetic body, sometimes this like higher self can literally float out of my body. And I usually see it as like somewhere above me. And it, t it takes practice and it takes feeling or, or maybe you're just going to instantly get it. Cool. Um, everybody's different. It's perfect, whatever happens for you. But I usually try to like feel like, okay, every time I sit down in meditation, I'm ungrounded. So I'm like, okay, where am I in this moment? Where is my like higher self? And I'm like, how far above me? Sometimes it's like freaking in Timbuktu. Sometimes it's uh, like right above me. Sometimes it's like in between, sometimes it's a couple feet, it just depends. And so I just try to intuitively, there's no right or wrong answer, it's whatever feels best for you. So I try to intuitively feel like, where is my energetic body? I feel it. And what I used to do is I used to find it. And sometimes my mind will go in, it'll start up and it'll be like, oh, maybe it's higher, maybe it's lower. But I can always trust my intuition. So go back into like, where does it, 
Where's my intuition telling me it is? Where does it feel that it is? And also it's not crazy important for you to like perfectly identify where it is. That's not the point. The point is just to feel into it and bring it into your body. And so the way I used to do this was I used to like pull it. I used to find it and I used to like pull it into me. And that is, um, one day I just came to realize like, huh, a, I feel resistance when I pull it. B, this is taking a while. C, it feels like kind of uncomfortable. Like what if I, instead of pulling it into my body, what if I called into my feminine wisdom and opened, which I don't mean to say like it's any wisdom, but I don't want the word feminine to deter you, but peace and love to the feminine and masculine. But what if I open my body, open my energetic body just for it, and invite it in. Instead of pulling it down into me, what if I invite it? What if I create space for it in my current energetic field? And I just simply invite it in. And I have to like hold this feeling and this thought of like creating space for it. And then I literally, after like a little bit of practice, felt it go whoop, like now it just like slips in instantly. Um, <laughs> So, sorry my mind um makes me laugh sometimes but um but yeah and so usually that is maybe it won't necessarily go in that easily but sometimes I will feel it very much more with ease much more relaxed much more in alignment come into the body and so that is my favorite way to ground and usually once it's actually coming into my body like i feel it like i feel it coming into my body in a couple ways one it's honestly like a little uncomfortable because it's almost like this beautiful pure energy like entering my body and it's my own energy so it's amazing but the act of it entering and settling in is a little uncomfortable like it almost makes me like feel like I need to like move my body. It almost makes it feel like it like tingles a little and it like, I don't know if you've ever had restless legs uh, when you sleep, like you're, if you like run and then you're like low in magnesium or something, it kind of feels like that. It's like this like tingling, like, oh, like I feel like I need to itch something on the inside. Um, and so, but then once it settles in, it's like, oh my gosh, it's like the best feeling in the world. It's like, poof, like it feels like I feel finally feel like I literally like leveled up. Like I feel like I'm complete. I feel like I just have this new field of energy. I feel like any scope that was on my vision, I now fully see things. It's a beautiful, incredible feeling. And so, um, but the actual physical or like the act of it entering my body, usually a couple things happens. I usually find myself yawning. Um, yawns, nose, sneezes, coughs. These different things can be your body releasing energy. Like we have emotions, we have the physical body, we have the energetic body. But all of these things, even though we label them as separate things, they're all the same thing and they're all working together. So when you are working with your energy, you will feel your physical body reacting. And so for me, the way that manifests is I yawn. Usually as it comes into my body, I'm like yawning and I can feel that I'm like the energy that was stuck um, or that was like maybe at a lower frequency. When I bring my higher self and my higher energy into my body, that has to leave. And so I feel, I feel it leaving through yawn. Sometimes like water comes out of my eyes. Um... Also, I like feel different parts of my body just like want to twitch. So I try to just let go without judgment and like let them twitch and let them move. And sometimes I'll just need to like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like I like laugh at myself because I'm making funny things. But um, yeah, it's like helping to move the energy that is a lower frequency or was stuck or is no longer needed or is denser and more stagnant out of my body as my like higher self comes in and like kind of cleanses my whole body and my energy system once it comes in. Um, so yeah, that's how I ground myself. And then once I feel grounded, I then 
will go into my deep meditation where, um, oh, forgive me. I wanted to also say another way to ground yourself. If you don't resonate with the, the feeling into the earth or like bringing your higher self into your body is that it's just to simply like, listen, it's all about like coming into the moment and coming into the now. And so a really simple way you can do is just like close your eyes and just like try to quiet your mind and just listen to all the sounds you hear around you, whatever they are, and just kind of focus on those as you start to feel yourself coming into this present moment. Um, so sometimes I do that. Um, sometimes I do one, a mixture of those things. Um, and then, <laughs> then I find that I've like, all of the previous steps are to get me to actually like the deep meditation. And the reason that I want to get into deep meditation is because A, it's like the most healing, cleansing feeling in the whole world. Like afterwards, I literally feel like I can do anything. I like feel like I've recharged my whole energetic, physical, emotional, intellectual self. I feel this cleansing. I feel this connection to God. Sometimes I legitimately get answers to questions. Like all of a sudden I wasn't even thinking of the question and like the answer pops in my mind. Sometimes I legitimately see visuals um, and see things. Sometimes it's lights. I see different colored lights. Sometimes I see geometric shapes. Sometimes I see faces. Sometimes I see goddesses, um, other beings. Um, so sometimes I will use meditation to connect with my internal divinity, my internal self to like heal my physical, mental, emotional body, to cleanse my physical, emotional, energetic body. Um, so that usually I can like live my day fully present, fully in alignment, f in full enjoyment and full alignment with myself and my intuition and taking each step because it's my highest excitement and it's my life purpose and not being distracted. Also, um, it beyond just connecting with my own divinity and myself and cleansing myself and coming into alignment for my day, it can also help me to have answers, to get answers to questions that I've been wondering about for a while. Sometimes I'll literally say to somebody like, yeah, I'll meditate on it because like I literally need to meditate on it. And I maybe sometimes I'll specifically sit and meditate on a question to try to see if an answer comes. But usually I don't do that. Usually I just meditate in the morning and Maybe there's a couple questions going on throughout my life. Usually there's a bunch, let's be, let's be fair. Um, but like a lot of times I'll get an answer or I'll feel the answer or I'll literally, another thing that'll happen is I will literally have visuals and I'll like meet a goddess or I'll talk to a spirit guide. Usually it's not like I'm actually hearing things. It's like they're showing me things or I'm feeling things or I'm just understanding things. So. Those are a lot of reasons that I want to get into this deep meditation and all my steps previous are to strip away any layers of distractions, of energetic cordings that people are pulling on me or anything that's on my mind and then come into my, my higher self, into my body so that I can get into a deep state of meditation. And once I've, once I've done those things, I slip very easily into a deep state of meditation and the way that you can like go into that is you, at least for me, this is how it works for me. Do it intuitively for you. Maybe these tips will help you. Let me know. Um, for me, I like try to focus on my inside, on the energy. It's usually right around here for me, but it can be really anywhere. Um, and I try to, it almost feels like this light inside of me. It almost feels like this really nourishing, like sometimes I literally say in my head, especially if I can't quiet my mind, nourishment, nourishment, nourishment. And I like focus on this nourishing. It's almost like an energy source inside of my body that when I focus on it and I let it, it like opens and then it like goes through my whole body and nourishes my whole being and cleanses it. And I can kind of like go into like a very quiet other place and like my mind is usually off and I just like feel this like like these beautiful soft gentle waves of like cleansing nourishment going through my whole body and the thing that helps me to stay in that is I just focus on that 
I just continue to focus on the feeling. Um, so yeah, like if you can, to keep you in a meditation and to help, you can either try to focus on breathing out, in, out, like the mind and on a repetition of the mind, or you can focus on a repetition of a feeling, um, which I used to do the mind. Now I do the feeling, do whatever works for you. But I focus on a meditate or a, a repetition of a feeling of just like nourishment. And it almost, again, it feels like this source of light and energy and wisdom like opens inside of me and expands through my body. And then when I continue to focus on that feeling and that source of energy and wisdom, which I genuinely believe is our connection to God and the universe. Um, I think God and the universe is inside of you. It's not like you have to go out and find it. It's you carry it with you. That's how I feel. So when I focus on that, that's when I can start to have answers to questions or I start to like have visuals and visions and like meet my guides and things like that. Um, in the amount of time that I meditate each time, it, it depends. Sometimes I have like no time and I meditate literally on the toilet and I just skip all the previous steps and I just think like feel into the nourishment or like I just do one of the things and I just breathe in my head and I just think inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Sometimes I sit down for like 30 minutes. Sometimes I don't even know and I don't even wanna know what time it is and I just meditate as long as I need to, as I can, or until I'm like, mm, okay, I'm done. Honestly, what usually happens is that like I just find myself getting up. It's not that I've made the choice to be done and get up, it's just that something just moved my body and I'm up and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'm done. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, don't feel like you need to do all of these steps and spend hours upon hours. If you only have five minutes, if you only have 10 minutes, I have a friend that does um, what he calls bite-sized meditations and he will literally set his alarm for five, 10 minutes, especially if he's in a rush, he doesn't have a lot of time and he'll just sit down. You don't need a yoga mat. You don't need to be at home in peace. Do it however you want to do it. But like I've meditated on a bus, on a park bench, in a restaurant with a bunch of people around me in a bathroom because that was the only place that I was like, I was like, everything's chaotic and I'm running around and I need to five seconds. And so I can go pee. And like while I pee, I'm just going to sit here and focus on my breath or come into that feeling or try to ground my higher self into my body, whatever I need or journal on the on the drive not while you're driving but you get it so or sometimes i'll just literally be like i feel something on me and pull the energy off and send it away so there's no right or wrong way to meditate you don't need to do all of these steps you don't need to do them in the same order do what intuitively feels good to you mix and match the steps bring in your own steps do a short amount of time a long amount of time sit down on a yoga mat do it in a bathroom there's no right or wrong way to do it. And it's all about practice. Um, it honestly took me a long time to be able to genuinely get to the point where I can quiet my mind and sit with this nourishing feeling and get answers to questions. But that doesn't mean it's gonna take you a long time. I was also very stubborn um, with my practice and I was like, I also just didn't understand what was possible in meditation and I didn't know how to get there. I didn't know how to get myself to the place of um, finding answers. So this is me trying to share all of my wisdom with you that I have gathered throughout the years of my meditation, like decade over. Um, all of my secrets that I've pulled, all of the things that I've learned for that works for me, that works for other people. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, suggestions, anything you want me to make a video about, any ways that help you meditate, please leave them in the comment below. I wish you a beautiful, peaceful, amazing day and much love.